I really believe that once you put your head to something and um, really say that this is what I want to get, put in 101% of yourself and you will always make it through. The perseverance, the grit that you get from that will always carry you through. My name is Ian Jako Juang. Um, we currently live in Juja. I am the second born in a family of four. Um, currently my mother is the one taking care of us. My father passed on in 2012 um, from kidney failure and since then my mother has really been working hard in order to keep us going. I have three siblings, an elder brother called Donaldo, he's currently studying in Turkey. Um, two younger sisters, uh, Michelle and Cindy. Cindy is in class seven and Michelle is in class five. I'm losing my father in class seven, it was um, a really hard time. I really got the urge to work even harder, to do things that my father had been planning to do and to really help out my mother, especially with my smaller sisters. I must say losing my husband was the greatest challenge I experienced because financially, Everything came to a standstill at first. We had to change our lifestyle. We had to move from the estate we were living to, to a smaller house, that is to this place. So I went to Lukenya Academy, um, starting from class five. Prior to that, we had been living in Zambia. So um, coming back to Kenya and starting Kenyan education system, it was quite difficult, but I got the hang of it. Um, I started performing well. This, despite the fact that my father had passed on just a year back, I managed to score 426 marks, which was um, a good score at the time. Um, I was admitted to Starehe Boy Center and, and School. I studied for the four years at Starehe. Um, from 2014 to 2017. I'm, um, I used to look at the prefectorial system in Starehe. Um, we had captains who really knew how to do their duty and I was like, one day I want to be a captain or um, at the very least a prefect. So in Form 2 I was appointed to become a, a sub-prefect. They usually rank, so that's where you start. And Form 3 I was promoted, I became a full prefect and that was um, a very good time for me. My feeling about here and scoring an A, obviously it, was, it felt great. Uh, and especially during this era where the A's are very few. Uh, and the aspects such as punctuality, I was a very punctual student. Uh, wherever there were any classes that maybe were taken outside the class, he was among us the very first ones to be back to class. I really worked hard and um, by God's grace I scored an A in the KCSE. Um, the only three A's from Starehe, so Equity Bank took all the three A's. So after Form 4 if you score an A, or if you are a Wings to Fly scholar and you score an A-, minus, or you are the top student in your district, you are, um, you'll be called to join Equity Leaders Programme. So look at your friends, know that each and every one of them has a different plan. And for me, that plan was to go to a very um, good university. I started working at Thika Branch and it was mind-blowing. Starting to earn a salary immediately after Form 4, I, it was very exciting, but at the same time, we were told numerous times that we had to be very careful how we use the money. When he would get the money, he would come home, do some shopping, and what we really appreciated was even when he, he volunteered to pay fees for the sisters. We were so excited because sometimes we normally have few balances. But he came and said, Mom, I'm getting 40,000 shillings. I'll give you 20,000 shillings so that you can clear fees for the girls. I was very excited because he really helped us there. Yes. I really helped out back at home. You know, my mom being alone, it was very difficult for her with my sisters being in school, my brother having gone to university. So it took a big load off her, so she did not really have to worry about me in terms of being taken care of, getting transport every day. Um, Equity Bank offers um, a mentorship for people hoping to apply to global universities. It's a very exciting time, they are remarkable people who come to speak to you, people who've gone to these universities, uh, universities in the US, Ivy League universities, um, and also people who are just about to be admitted to the university. So they, they really encourage you in terms of telling you that you can do it. They tell you the process that you need to go through if it is sitting for exams. I'd always dreamt of studying in the US. Um, going to a school like Princeton was um, 
I, I, I don't know, it was mind blowing. I, I didn't expect it. I have interests in computer science and interests in economics. I would like to seek formal employment for a short while after um, my university life, but I am very excited about um, entrepreneurship and self-employment, so I hope that one day I'll be able to start my own um, company. For me, it's just the beginning. That's what I always say. There is so much more ahead of me that I have not yet seen, I have not yet tackled, and I hope that as I continue, I can inspire people and I can continue being inspired to do great things.